Hey, hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda. I'm a hair stylist in Belgium. Many people of you are asking me, where are you from? What is your accent? I'm from Belgium. My uh, mother language is Dutch, but I'm not from Holland. I'm from Belgium, the Flemish speaking part. So this is my mother language. So yes, English is not my mother language and you can hear it on my accent. I asked uh, for a few links. If you saw a hair fail and you wanted me to react on, you can send me a link. You can do it by Instagram or you can do it uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. So it doesn't matter how you do it. So the first link that I received was from Fish Don't Talk. And uh, her husband is coloring her hair in mermaid hair. I don't know what it means in mermaid hair. I think it's a lot of colors. So let's see, we will going to react on this uh, video. So go to her channel or their channel, so husband and wife. So the channel is Fish Don't Talk and the title is I Let My Husband Do My Hair. I hope this was going well. So before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell. It means a lot to me to subscribe to my channel. My channel is growing very fast and I thank you all for that. So let's start uh, this video and uh, I'm wondering how good this husband is as a hairstylist. So long story short, what we're going to do, so my wife usually has some really cool colors in her hair that she's always had and we always get it professionally done. We have all of our hairdressers shut down due to the whole corona thing. So we're actually going to do my wife's hair ourselves. We just got just it, got the stuff. So Please no quick boom. So they're not letting anybody in the store and I have to pay for the products and I'm using my debit card. So I'm like standing outside the store with my debit card and like pressing it up against the glass and they got their machine for pesto because of that. Anyway, so it was pretty funny. What we got was is three different mixing cups. Super important so that your colors are all set up the way you need them to be. Yes. And then we got three different colors. So we have the purple rain, the uh, Poseidon, blue, I guess you could call it. And lastly, we have the aquamarine. So okay, those are oh, really so gorgeous. Those are our mermaid ocean colors. We're going to be mixing some of them together to achieve different tones and shades. And yep, so that's the highlight wraps. They're a type of paper wrap that we're going to be putting around my wife's hair. As we put on the hair color, we can paint it onto the strands of hair individually and then wrap up that hair and let it do its thing. These highlight wraps that are the same that I'm using in my salon. So this is for the first time I see a good thing. So three colors, purple, dark blue and light blue. The names are different, so but basically it's that. Purple, dark blue and light blue. I'm wondering how they are going to do it. Are they going to fade it out in different colors or are they going to color it in bands? I don't know. Let's see what they are going to do. We got three different brushes. They're the same kind of brush, but we want three different. So we're going to have three different colors that are putting in here. Lastly, because they're always needed, we have duckbill clips. All right, guys, so we're back at home. So that was a very good idea to buy three different colored uh, bowls and three different color uh, brushes. If you put a color in a bowl, it seems the same thing. You'll take a brown or a blonde or, or some brands are having the same color in the bowl. So you know with the different colors of bowls or the different colors of brushes, you know what you're taking. So this was a very, very, very good thing. We did have color in it previously. We spent a month, about a month and a half, trying to strip, two months now, trying to strip color and wash out as much color as we can. We did use a little bit of Tend Developer with some other mixtures to kind of get rid of most of the color. And then we just used basic washes to get rid of the rest of what we can. I don't think it's going to have much of an impact with the colors we're going to be using because the minty tones that are inside of our hair here I think won't clash too much with the colors that we chose but we won't know until we do it so let's go ahead and get started so first of all she had different colors before and they washed it with 10 volumes so that is a good thing 10 volumes is not aggressive and you take the pigments out 
starting from the darkest color going to the brightest. So the roots are going to start out as a dark purple mixed with a dark blue. And then we're going to go into a dark blue, probably mixed with some aquamarine. And then to finish at the ends, we're just going to have aquamarine and make it really bright and beautiful. First thing, very good. The darkest color goes on the roots. This is very good. You always start with darker colors and you end up with the brightest color or the lightest color. Because if you work opposite and this is lighter or brighter uh, and this is darker, it's not nice. But if you have two different kinds of blue and I think it's medium dark blue and light blue, I don't think you will see much of a difference. Maybe it will fade and it will be beautiful, but I don't think you will you will notice it. And so what else we're going to be doing is we're going to take our level 10 developer and we're going to mix that inside of the colors as well. We did read online, and I hope we're doing something okay here, we did read online that it does help set the color inside of your hair because it's supposed to open up the follicles inside of the hair. So that's what we're going to be mixing as well. I'm not sure what proportion we're gonna do, but we'll kind of figure that out as we go. That's on the packaging. So we were about to do a time lapse there. I'm gonna go get gloves, because this might be really messy. I forgot to buy one, so I had to make a kind of a DIY board here. It works pretty well. It's not too flimsy, so we're gonna have her hair lay across here. And we did pick up these hair papers. They're 10 times smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I expected them to be twice as long because my wife's got some pretty long hair. So we'll just have to make do, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to maybe fold and layer, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Very good, very, very, very good. First of all, yes, if you do coloring any color, you have to wear any gloves, you have to, because just for protecting yourself, but if you coloring with this kind of colors, it stains immediately. And the plank that he made, it's very good, but you can also buy such a plank from the Highlight Fraps brand. But he made it himself, so very good. It's working easily. So you put the hair on top of it and you have a firm base to color on. So that is very, very good. Maybe it's not a hair fail. Let's see. So I put in three fat holes of developer in each, oops, in each container here. And I'm going to try and aim for one fourth developer and three fourths color. I hope that's a good ratio, we'll see here. But next up is putting in the colors. The mixing ratio is always very important. Normally it's on the packaging. You see one, 0.2, 1.3, 1.1 1.1.5, so that is the mixing ratio. Always, it, it's obligated that it's on the packaging. The mixing ratio, you have to know that. If it's not on the packaging, search it on the internet. This is a minus point. Uh, it's the first one, I think. Yeah, it's the first one. So, okay. Good, you still have 9 to 10. Okay, let's see. How do you do it? There we go. So we're trying to take really fine sections as possible. I look a little crazy, but all about the hair. This is a lot harder than it looks. As for the bleaching process, I would never attempt that myself. So I'm thankful that we got my hair bleached really well by the hairstylist last year. So first of all, you have to start in the back. And you have to put a paper, highlight wraps, or, or aluminium but this is better I think uh, and then you color your hair and then you put another one on top of it so you protect it you keep it warm but you protect it that the top the, the layer that goes on top is not colored okay so you protect every string and they are taking fine sections so that's a good one but minus one because you're beginning on top highlights and uh, and ombre and this kind of technique, I think it will be an ombre effect, uh, will always start in the back. Because if it's finished and you have, you process a long time and you start here, then you can time it on the crown area and you can rinse it off after 30 minutes 
and you can rinse that off after 20 minutes. Now it's not possible to rinse the, the front off if it's 30 minutes. You will have to wait, you know? So start in the back, always start in the back. Now you have eight of 10. Now we're doing some dark blue. It'll be really nice. I'm super excited for this. We're gonna keep on doing this for the rest of my hair. We'll have fun with it. And then we'll show you guys kind of midway through what it's looking like. There's the first foil paper. On to the next, probably 200 of them. <laughs> okay, so we got all of these sections done in this one area, in this one section, nicely foiled up. Now we're gonna section out another part and do what we just did with the foils and stuff and put it on. So this is all on this side. Oh, I should have done it one at a time. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're good. Kind we're of crazy. Good. They're holding really well. They are holding really well. So it's I'm good paper. Basically, double siding them and it seems to be holding just fine. The one thing I see that he's taking the fine sections, that's very good. But, what he's doing now is, he's coloring like this. He puts his brush horizontally on the head and he colors it like this. So if you want to have an ombre effect and you want to have faded out in different colors, then you will have to color it vertically, like this. So the color, so the purple is going deeper and the blue is starting higher, in the middle. So, purple here, blue there, purple here, blue there. You know what I mean? So, you can color it like this, but then you have to fade it out like this, with the point of the brush and vertically. And also, I see he's not coloring the regrowth. Maybe they, they will color it afterwards, I don't know. But if you don't color the regrowth, it will not be as beautiful. You have to color the regrowth, even maybe with a darker purple. So you start with very dark purple, light purple, and then the blue one. You see? It's vertically colored. It's with a straight line. You have to blend it in. That's not good. But she has it's been really two long hours hair. and I am super exhausted. I have mad respect for hairdressers now, especially after this. But anyways, we have done about half a million foils and <laughs> we're going to have to do another half a million on this side. We are about just over halfway through. So we just have this section left. I hope you guys saw it during the time lapse. I've just been layering the purple darker blue and then brighter blue and putting the foils on both sides so wish me luck and uh, we'll see you guys when we're done all the foils should be about another hour or so we are finally at the end okay so a couple foils came off in some places but most more importantly than that we're out the foils were sitting right here and we're out. So we have no foil left to do the last little section of hair here. So it's I'm the last, that's the last one. So I'm gonna have to maybe freehand it or something. I'm gonna try, but we will see what I can do and get back to you when it's done. We are finally done, everybody. I ended up stealing a few of the sheets from other parts of the hair that I could probably spare to do some of the last, and then the very last strand is just strung down the back there. But we are finally. I don't know how hairdressers do it. They are champions. <laughs> They're champions. So that's all done. We're going to leave this in our hair for about 45 minutes or so. We're going to go get some some food because we're starving. We Keep see. that in mind if you guys are ever doing this kind of project. Eat food. <laughs> Eat food because you get so hungry but and just, so tired. Just wanted to say because you'll probably be here for like at least a good couple of hours. At least two to three hours while well, I have a... I have a lot of hair and it's really thick, so you'll probably be here for a couple of hours. So anyways guys, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> it's long hair, very long hair. Yeah, you're fried, son. How do you feel?
She went outside with these papers in her head. You gotta go get some ice caps. Okay, first of all, you have to watch out for that. If the temperature outside is a very big difference than inside, your color process will change. With normal color, okay. But with bleach, that's a different thing. If it's like winter and you go outside just for a smoke or something, the color process is changing. Be careful with that. Or it's summer, it's very hot, inside you have air conditioning, you go outside and it's very warm and you go back inside, it's changing. So you have to stay in the same temperature during this process. It's been 45 minutes. So now we're gonna give it a rinse out and see what happens. The foils are out. I forgot to record it when we took out the foils to show you guys what it looked like, but I think my wife's reaction was pretty great, hey? Oh gosh, I, I was so ecstatic. I ended up screaming in the mirror with a huge smile on my face. <laughs> She's combing out her hair here. It's kind of harsh to see this lighting, but it's wet right now. Too. It's wet as well, but it looks so good. Oh my goodness! All right, guys, so it is done. The final product. I am quite happy with it. It's still a little bit damp, but there it is. I think the color is blended pretty nicely. There isn't too, too much difference between the two blues when it's all said and done. You can't tell a bit of a shade difference, just the slightest bit of a shade difference. And then some of the blues blended pretty nicely up into the purple. And then onto the roots is pretty well untouched. So I think it blended pretty nicely up there. Final thoughts, son? I can see that it takes a lot of work to do it this way, but this is probably the first time we've ever done it that way, and it turned out the nicest we've actually ever done it. If you ever want to do your hair, really put the work and time into it, because it's worth it, and I feel super excited. <laughs> and next time, we're getting our hairdresser to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for watching. We appreciate it, and happy fish keeping. Bye. Okay, the color was not that bad. There was a nice shine on the hair, but there are some things that I don't like. First of all, the regrowth is not colored. It bothers me. It's not a nice look now. You think it blended because the top layer of blue falls over the, the purple one. So that's okay. But like I said before, don't color it horizontally, color it vertically. So for me, I would or coloring the regrowth in purple and I start lower with the blue, so the, the, just the end parts is blue, or I will leave the regrowth, but I will start halfway the hair with the purple and then the blue. You're very nice people, I see it. You appreciate the hairdressers, well done. So you have very good, you took the time, and that's something I hardly see in many uh, videos, is many people are, taking not the time to color. They want it to do it quickly. They take 40 volumes because they think it will be quickly done. If you want to color your hair, you want a nice result, it will take time. If you go to the hairdresser and it's for a coloring technique, then you are with the hairdresser for three hours, four hours. Let's say I'm very happy with uh, the result that they send me. Uh, I'm very happy with the link. So go to their channel, uh, Fish Don't Talk, I think it was, Fish Don't Talk. Uh, go to their channel, uh, subscribe to their channel, support these creators, they're really nice people. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, so press that notification bell. And all I'm going to say today is, Chaukes!